Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm in the basement and playing I'm about to play around with the battery bank again I have this uh, I'm creating the 48 volt battery bank for on mostly for fun but on the wrong run I would like to be able to power the house not not full time but you know a little bit in the evening have like a switch that you can uh, switch the power over to internal power and like have a battery bank that you can run the house on for a couple of hours and then switch back to the grid so kind of like partly off-grid system and the oops that I'm right now planning to start with uh, has this battery bank and right now I I haven't taken off the screws again. I actually took this apart once and now I've screwed everything in again and now I'm gonna unscrew them again because I wanted to try and put some distilled water in the batteries. I haven't had much luck with this uh, earlier uh, but I saw another video with, with someone explaining that these batteries had like a gel inside of them it wasn't really they didn't really have a lot of water they just had this gel and that you shouldn't put too much water in them so I was gonna experiment with taking the lead taking this apart and disassembling all the batteries and putting in a little bit of, of distilled water in them too what was said was that the the gel dries out and becomes too thick and is not able to cover all the plates or something like that so this battery bank consists of two battery banks of 48 volts and each of these batteries are a 6 volt battery these are just loose of those um, but really to get into the batteries I need to get rid of this um, so I'll try and get that off of here but if I I'm afraid that I won't be able to remember where, where there's drawings I might be able to figure it out yeah I'm gonna take these off Ugh. There we are, all the cables are off and now I should be able to take out this plane. It's just a piece of, I think it's paper. There we are. And now there's just a lot of batteries there. And they're in a specific order. If I take one out, it's important to put it back in, in the right order. And these are like 6 volt, 12 amp hour batteries. Yeah. And I'm gonna try and take some of the lids off. Found a screwdriver that is up to the task. Uh, well, the batteries are really all. Oh, some of them at least is pointing in the wrong direction. Taking up the lids. Might as well take them off. reason to film that yeah now all the lids are off there's still these rubber things on all the batteries I'm gonna I'm gonna take those off as well luckily the they're the same on all the batteries so it doesn't matter if I mix them up 
one of the batteries on. It's seeing some sounds. Which is rather funny. That one had vacuum ends out of it. So now I have 16 batteries with three holes in each. That needs some distilled water in each of them. And I think I'm gonna give it like two milliliters. Like two lines on the big syringe for each little hole. See how that works out. syringe and give it two milliliters each. Well, I just wanted to see how much two milliliter really is. So I'm just gonna press out two milliliters here. That's not including. That's about it. <laughs> well, I finished. I put in two milliliters of water in each cell. I'm just looking inside of the cells and oh, they look very dry. I'm really tempted to put in some more distilled water here. I'm just gonna try and let, let this soak in. I'm gonna put on all the leads again, all the rubber things here, uh, so that the distilled bottle doesn't evaporate. And I'm not, I'm not really gonna touch the batteries. I'm just gonna let the distilled water soak in. So I'm not I'm not giving them many chances. I th I think they are wasted, but it would be fun if if maybe one of these banks would could survive. Just gonna measure some voltage on them and see if there's any of them that's just near six volts. That's way out of the framing. Can we see that? DC current. It's a good idea. 1.8 volts. 0 0.8 volts. 1.5 volts. 0 0.4 volts. 0 0.4 volts. 0 0.3 volts. 0 0.6 volts. 0.6 volts, 1 volt, 2.3 volts, 1.4 volts, 
3 volts, 0 0.3 volts, 0 0.4 volts, 0 0.8 volts, and 1 volt. They're really not good. It's They're very, very broken. So this project is gonna be sitting for a week until I get here again. And it's it's kind of an in the way on the bench here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put it over in the on this shelf. And I'm making sure that the lead doesn't doesn't short circuit any of the batteries. It should be good there. This is a, it's a last result. Maybe the batteries can be. Do I don't know. Maybe maybe maybe. <laughs> Thank you for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see what happens to this battery bank. I'm gonna try again next weekend. Have a nice day.